fella give in this bird once, he said, you've only got a small organ, haven't you? He said, yes, but it's never played in a cathedral before. <laughs> you Japanese never fucking laugh, do you? Hey, you never laugh. We've not forgot Pearl Harbor, pal, don't you fucking worry about that. What a shit house trick that was. <laughs> Sat there, he can't wait to go home, make all the Datsun. <laughs> you look a nice young fella, go and piss on that job. Bastards. No fucking time for a me. There was a, a plane crashed in Madrid about six months ago. 200 Japanese on that plane. Broke my fucking heart. Six empty seats there was. <laughs> so she said, oh, I'm not grumbling. What you've got's very good, she said, but I'm a little bit kinky. She said, would you, would you bite me ears while you're giving me one? I said, no, where do you want to bite it? She said, just on the lobes there, gentle. So anyway. He said, just kiss me bus very quick while he biting me ears, sorry. <laughs> she said, rub me arse on the back slow. And pull on the cheeks quick, sorry. <laughs> she said, it slipped out. He says, no fucking wonder, I forgot what I was doing, he said. <laughs> now, stars on Sunday when I come back in the second half. J.C. was walking through Jerusalem and all these women were throwing stones at this prostitute and half bricks and slates. And he said, turn it in. Turn it in! He was a nasty bastard with mother piss at the dinner time, you know. <laughs> he used to go out changing water into wine. Everybody got pissed out of the mind. Turn it in, he said. Any woman here without sin, let her cast the first stone. Ooh, and a bleeding big rock come over. <laughs> Hit this prostitute around the back of the head, he turned around and he said, you know, Mother, sometimes you fucking piss me off. Fool. <laughs> got a stripper on tonight, there's a splits over a Guinness bottle, you've never seen nothing like it in your life. It's cost a fucking fortune, lost 14 crates of Guinness last night. <laughs> I shook her up about half ten, it was frothy, man, frothy, frothy. <laughs> Now, stars on Sunday, that Jess Yates, my friend, the, the Welshman, they want to stop singing in Wales and get some fucking call up. You can all sing when you've got fuck all to do all day, can't you? <laughs> Had my honeymoon in Wales, I took the wife to Wales to Bangor. Nice day, you know. <laughs> when the tight bastards then Welsh, she said, there's no luck on the lab. She said, we've never had a bucket of shit pinched yet. What kind of people talk like that? <laughs> Except the Americans. In America, they call drug shit in America. Think nothing of it. It's a slang word, and I didn't know this. I'd never been further than Oldham. Get off the plane, this big coon come up. He said, uh, you want to buy some shit? <laughs> I said, shit, what kind of shit? <laughs> he said, best quality. Shit, man, best quality. I said, am I, mate? This barmy boss wants to sell me some shitty. Unbelievable. Anyway, I bought a bucket full. I wasn't walking about without it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> there was a hippie on the top of the CIS building in Manchester. Souped up to the fucking eyeballs. He was. Right on the top, he says, I'm a jumbo jet. I'm a jumbo jet. Fucking dived up. Halfway down, another hippie hijacked him and flew him to Cuba. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at these poor old age pensioners. I bet you've been sat out in all week with your overcoats on, trying to save a bit of fuel, haven't you? So you can suck Perno and Malibu and all that. <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky old boss, he's never had it so good. <laughs> this time last year, it was pissing down with rain. We didn't have a summer like we've just had. It was a bastard this time last year. Terrible. Strikes all over the country. Sid Vicious died. I couldn't fucking sleep with him about that. <laughs> I tossed and turned all night when Sid Vicious died. The dirty, scruffy bastard. They couldn't bury him. The dustbin men were on strike at the time. It was an Irish punk rocker took a pin out of his nose. His head blew off. Johnny Rotten just teamed up with Ronnie Barkin. In future, it's going to be good night from me and fuck off from him. That's how the world's gone now. Unbelievable. That's me shaking hands with the Queen backstage London Palladium. 
Well, come up the phone with me, you know. He was with us at Duke of Kent. What a gormless bus it is. <laughs> oh, Mr. Manning, last my balls for tonight. You know. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> is this old fella gone? Has he gone? Are you all right? Was it cold in the ground this morning? <laughs> anyway, this fellow went to this cotton mill. He said, is Fred in? He said, no, he's just gone for cotton. He said, well, when I see him, he said, well, he'll be back on Friday. Went on Friday, he said, is Fred in? He said, you've just missed him again. He's just gone for cotton. He said, I'll see him Monday. Went down Monday, he said, Fred, he's dead. He said, when was this? Was yesterday morning. Oh, he said, well, they buried him. He said, oh, Boston Cemetery. He said, I'll go up, pay my respects. Went up there on the grave. He had Fred's gone, but not for cotton. <laughs> Four Jews playing dominoes, trying to knock in case the waiter came over. <laughs> you can't stop us laughing. It's lovely. And I went to the dog's home. He said, have you got a blind dog for my mother-in-law? You don't mean a guide dog. He says, no, a blind dog. If he sees him, go for a fucking throat. He says, <laughs> It's nice to see the Grumbleweeds in the club tonight anyway. Give them a nice round of applause. Very, very talented young men. Got a great future. Got a great future. They appeared here many, many years ago for £125. But it was it six of you? I think I got fucked that week. There's only five. <laughs> hey. I paid for six. Anyway, it was £125, and I don't begrudge it. You can come back again any time you want. <laughs> Same fucking money, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, this fella knocked a bloke down with his car. The copper says, you bastard. He said, he never looked left or right. He said, he's no fucking need in his own kitchen. <laughs> and I walked in this pub, and he was well pissed when he walked in. Drank eight pints of bitter, looked round the room, he says, you lot over there are a shower of bastards. You lot over there are a shower of cunts. This big Irish fella stood up and says, I'm not a bastard. He said, well, get over there with a cunt. <laughs> the fella dashed in, he says, a double brandy, quick, the landlord says, you look knackered, son. He says, knackered, I'm entitled to be. He said, I've got a bird in my car, in the car park, he said. A nymphomaniac. You'd never satisfy her if you was there while doomsday. Get away, he says, here. Pull your own, I'll go and give her one. You hang on in here. There's a bowl of soup there if you want it. <laughs> he nips out and he gets on the job and he's banging away there and a copper knocks on the window. Now that's not him banging away, that's the copper knocking on the window, by the way. <laughs> he was going... <laughs> he hadn't got to the... Uh... <laughs> Part of it. Anyway, he said, can I have a word with you, sir? He said, I was just knocking the wife off, officer. Oh, he said, I didn't know it was your wife, sir. He said, don't be fucking self, you shine your torch. <laughs> Las Vegas, it's frightening. They don't have prostitutes, they have what they call hookers, you see. I don't bother myself, as you know, but... Uh, I got a bit full up about the Thursday. I thought, well... <laughs> there's someone running down my leg. I hope it's sweat. <laughs> and this hooker was stood on the corner, the ugliest bastard you've ever seen in your life. She says, uh, hello, honey. Only me, like, you know. I said, are you taking a piss or what? I said, well, you got a dollar. She said, I've got change. <laughs> Didn't bother with that, though. You've been proud of me over there. $100 to pay this hooker. A girl from Tennessee. Her ass went like a fiddler's elbow, I believe it. She said, did you take precautions? I says, no, I didn't. She said, well, I didn't. So in nine months' time, you'll have a baby. Call it Bernard Manning. She said, well, in three days, you'll get a rash. Call it what the fucking hell you like. <laughs> There's a blind fella walking through Manchester with his guide dog and the guide dog slashed up his leg. <laughs> and they give it a dog biscuit and the fella dashed up. He said, you know, that's the nicest thing I've ever seen in my life is that dog just pissed up your leg, he said. And you give it a dog biscuit. He said, yes, I'm just finding out where its mouth is. It's going to get a kick in the bollocks. <laughs> I'm going to play a little flute now, but a classical music. This is beautiful. This is from the Swan Lake Ballet, this. This is where the swan is dying, but it's a black swan, so bollocks do it anyway. <laughs> Here we go. 
Go. It's a bit hairy in my mouth now. That's memories if you like, isn't it? <laughs> Often wonder where she is. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about oral sex is the view. <laughs> and I never go to orgies because you never know who to thank on the way out, do you? <laughs> And I'll pet you, my snow, thank you. Fingertips, no knuckles, just the fingertips. <laughs> 25 years. Okay, oh, now, what's going on behind the bar, please? If you're thieving, thieve quietly, please. <laughs> what? You've got a visor in your arse in this business. That smiling bastard on the door. There's more than 38 people in here, I'm bleeding sure. <laughs> huh? Jubilee year this year, the Embassy Club. 25 years they've been with me, this, this, this pianist. Give me a round of applause. David, Dave Green. Hell of a nice young man. And Frank Hogan. 25 years. We've grown old together, haven't we, Frank? Hey, you're still knocking that bird up from Bake Up. It's time you turned it in up there, you know. When they show this video in 100 years, they wonder who the fucking hell you was knocking off in Bake Up. If you're inquiring. And this dozy bastard on the drums here, he's only been here about six months. I don't think he'll be here another fucking six months, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's like the fucking Muppets up here, I'll tell you. Some of the shit they play, it's unbelievable. It is. The only bang I'll get tonight. Now this, uh... <coughs> This is a Flemish number. <laughs> I do hope you like it. Jewish fellow phoned his tail. He says, Is that you, I mean? He says, Yes, what do you want? He said, I'm fast asleep here. I've passed four in the morning. What game's this? He said, It's very important. He said, It fucking better be, and all. He said, Fast asleep here. What do you want? He said, Well, I'm in bed here knocking your daughter off. He said, I'd like to thank you. It's the only thing you've ever made for me that fits. <laughs> Look at these two coming in here, right? You're not soliciting you two, are you? Oh, you want a fucking plank on your back with that old one there? Come in, you want to sit near the front, ladies? Come on, then. We'll look after you. She's thinking for herself. <laughs> I've got a couple of stools. Have you got two stools you can stick in there, my love? This little old lady here. Okay. She's deaf as a boat. She thinks I'm fucking singing now, huh? <laughs> He's doing his line taming act now with a stool, look. <laughs> Have you got another stool? Yeah, come down here, ladies. We'll look after you. There's another one. There you are. We've got two stools for you. We'll make you welcome here, love. Stick them in there. Fucking action replay this is doing, I think. Hurry up, the sun's coming up. <laughs> on there, darling. I bet you've flattened a bit of grass in your time, you haven't you? Huh? <laughs> Put it all end to end what she's had, make hand rail for the Isle of Wight. <laughs> You're welcome anyway. You're nice and comfortable there. One of the waiters will dash over any moment now. <laughs> Look at this dozy bastard here. <laughs> you feel old age creeping up on you, it's one of the fucking waiters. Unbelievable. We had a social security near the other week. I looked over there. There's only two behind the fucking bar. So <laughs> 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 you don't start booking your ideas up, you lot. I'm going to put you down for tax. <laughs> put him the fucking speed he's running now, hey? <laughs> It's all right, Tommy. It's all right. Lovely wife. <laughs> Tell you, lovely home. <laughs> that ceiling could do with decorating in the fucking bedroom. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> 